Hi right, everybody, this is the comic book hype, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and here we are back here at the comic book hut. Headline from Phantom Pulse, a new website for us to peruse through. It's bound in the comments is kaput. It's gonna be kaput very quickly. But here we have a story about Mark Wade. Mark Wade. Mark Wade. What year is this? I mean, really. I started the channel back in 2018. I was talking about that SOB. The first video I ever did. First video I ever did was on Mark Wade and Weirdo Ricciardo. How Mark Wade. I actually reviewed his book, I guess, Captain America. 700? And I reviewed it. It was garbage. Because you had the Hulk and, and the thing in it. And they, they, didn't, they weren't fighting anybody in the book. And, uh... Obviously, that was around the time that uh, Mark Wade called Antarctic Press. And they folded fast than Superman on Laundry Day. And uh, they told Weirdo Child that the Pound Sand were not going to publish a book. And, of course, Mark Wade caused such a, a you know a ruckus that people flooded to Jawbreaker's Lost Souls and made that a smash hit financially. And... Uh, Quite frankly, Weirdo Richard, instead of suing him, should have sent him some flowers and sent him some candy because he made probably more money than he would have if, if it hadn't gotten interfered. But obviously the lawsuit between the two, they met, they spent so much money that the two of them had to sort of say, you know what, I can't afford this. you think they, they, they both would have figured this out. But it is 2023, almost 2024, and we are back here. The sign of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. Headline. Mark Wade, Mark Wade threatens. Now, people want to know why I say his name twice, because he probably is the type that gets so mad he repeats himself. Okay. Mark Wade, Mark Wade threatens to burn down the comic industry in tantrum over Mark Millar. And this is written by John De La Rose, good guy on time books. DC Comics writer Mark Wade. Mark Wade has been in battle since he targeted YouTube to YouTube with diversity in comics to get his book Jawbreaker's Lost Souls canceled by Antarctic Press, resulting in a torturous interference lawsuit that Richard C. Meyer eventually settled. Wade Wade became the original cancel pick at that moment. And now he's going after Mark Millar and others, calling out the bad behavior of comic book industry professional. I would mention that uh, all the people that we've been talking about. And all the YouTubers have been talking about for the last, uh, what, since 2017. They're still causing trouble. And the comic book industry is much, much worse than it was in 2017. Much, much worse than it was in 2018. Obviously, with the lockdown, it has hit the stores hard. And the, the comic book uh, pros that are out there, they're doing these industry books, they, they, they're even worse. And those that were talented and that were doing... Uh, Good works five, six years ago. They're not there either. Mark Millar has come under fire from leftist comic pro since he amplified the video of retailer Glenn O'Leary, who complained the poor quality coming from modern writers and artists was killing the sales of his comic shop. The video went viral and several professionals attacked the retailer rather than listening to his criticism. Mark Millar stepped in to interview O'Leary to help him get his voice heard. During this crisis in, comic, in comics, Millar coined the term cancel pigs to call out the woke professionals and shills in comics who try to cancel any creator or fan who steps outside the narrative. Cancel pigs trended on X over the last couple of days, shaking industry professionals like Mark Wade, Mark Wade, who apparently feel the term hits too close to home for their behavior online. Well, they act like pigs. They're disgusting. Mark Millar went on an unhinged rant on Facebook and Blue Sky Social last evening. First report by Bleeding Fool. In the tirade, Wade called Millar a former comic superstar whose heat is fading. Uh, illustrating his jealousy of Millar, who's had his entire catalog of creator-owned properties bought by Netflix under the imprint Millar World. Netflix has already made multiple of his properties into streaming TV shows, something Wade hasn't accomplished with his IPs. Wade is a is just a guy that just resuscitates and regurgitates Superman, the Flash, nothing original of his own that anybody would want. One of Wade's fans went further, lambasting Millar as a douche. Now let me read you what this insane person is writing. This is Mark Wade, Mark Wade. 
And like a fallen star rocketing across the sky, another former comic superstar whose heat is fading chooses to cry for attention by blaming the industry, his peers, and the audience rather than taking stock of his own professional progress, amending that we are often the authors of our own fate and finding the courage to reinvent himself and stay relevant. It's really not that hard. Is he talking about himself? My star is not going to burn forever either. No one does. And accepting that fact gracefully is a sign of emotional maturity. But if I ever, ever become that guy, Mark, Mark Wade, you are always that guy. Every single one of you has permission to slap me aside, upside the head, and force me to reread the... If, if that were to be the case, folks, he'd be unconscious. Slap him upside the head, he'd be un unconscious. He further attacked comic retailers and fans who are concerned about the state of comic uh, comics with a passive-aggressive reply on Facebook, saying, uh, all this complaint about how comics are dying because familiar characters aren't being written out of character by people who want to self-assert the political cause to turn them into SJW mouthpieces. But not one single legitimate example given, not one. Who? Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, one, all of them. What's the problem? They're all of them, Mark Wade, all of them. Damian Wayne, seriously, what am I missing here? Have these complainers read a single Marvel or DC Comics in the 2020s? It's interesting he doesn't say prior to that. All these characters have been have been uh, communized, pussified, all of them. All of them. Superman, got a gay son. Batman, we have different... Ver uh, uh, Tim Drake is gay. Green Lantern, Alan Scott. The Flash, we got e Ezra Miller. Wonder Woman, she's on a she is on an island with gay women. Spider Man, we got Miles Morales, who no one calls Spider Man, they call him Miles Morales. Captain America, constantly not being a Steve Rogers, but everybody else. Daredevil, who the hell knows what's going on? He might be the closest to one. Iron Man takes a second fiddle to Hellcat. That crazy redhead Pat uh Hellcat. <laughs> Nightwing, what's happened to him? Harley Quinn made into a lesbian. Damian Wayne. You know, all of them. All of them are subservient to the to the wokeness. The rants continue in comments for over a thousand words, making many comics fans wonder of Mark Wade's jealousy of Moa's success and internal guilt of being a part of the comic industry collapse is consuming him. And the most shocking statement yet, Wade said he burned the industry down rather than share any space with those he politically disagrees with. He strongmans people like Mark Moa, Ethan Van Skyver, and others who critique the bad stories being produced by Marvel and DC as alt-right to do so, a term not used by any normal people since the media made alt-right meaningless in 2017. Wade is demonstrating behavior exactly like Millar calls out as cancel pigs. He's trying his hardest to end Mark Millar's career, but Millar has transcended the normal comic industry into something much greater, leaving Mark Wade, Mark Wade, proverbially pissing into the wind, or pissing on himself. You can see the running down his leg. Uh, this is Mark Wade. I think a lot of us would just rather see the industry burn down than get together with the alt-right. I know I would. Sorry. And this guy has been an issue for most of his career, folks. For most of Mark Wade's career, he has been very troubled. He's a very troubled individual. Uh, and that is without a doubt. And he's been a, a very troubled individual for 25, 30 years. Since he's been in the industry. he This is his his excuse. He's crazy. This is his excuse to rant. Uh, something he doesn't like. We know his history as an editor. When he had his own company. Uh, years ago. Where people did not like working for him. And this is the, this is the same nonsense. That Mark Wade has done all these years. He, he has not changed. Uh, like I said earlier in the video. Sign of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. And Mark Way has not learned. Five years from now, he'll be he'll be complaining about something. Two years from now, five years from now. And it'll be the same insanity. And now he hides behind his politics. This guy really needs a lot of help. He really does. The fact that I'm doing... The fact that a lot of people are doing videos on him and that he's not grown as a human being... Uh, in terms of his mental capacity, tells you, folks, that there's something wrong with him. And nobody should pay any attention to him. 
Who the hell cares if he, if he uh, uh, wrote uh, Kingdom Come? Who the hell cares if he wrote The Flash? Who the hell cares if he's written all uh, Superman, all his other stuff? He's nuts. And crazy people should be put where they need to be. We know where they need to be. In the funny farm, the nervous hospital. And unfortunately, people don't want to say it. I'll say it. I don't care. <laughs> you know. But he, he needs a lot of help. And this is another episode... <laughs> No, the, thank you for watching this video. And of course, please sub subscribe. Let's try this again. And of course, please subscribe to the combo cut. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.